Kayla, please like and subscribe. Sheesh. Yeah. Go right into it. Son. Yeah, yeah. He You're set you up, Ollie. He set you up. <laughs> he really did. Uh, okay, so today I am actually highlighting one of my absolute favorite people. Yes, I know I say that a lot, but um, this one is he's my brother. And so I just. There, you know, you put something out today, Josh, that really just hit is it your me. turn to make me cry? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, it hits. Uh, I saw it and I knew, you know, I had somebody else that I was going to highlight, and I'm like, no, this is going to be a next week thing because this just hits home for all of us, and at least it should. And so I was like, this is this is the one. So today. Our favorite bro tweeted out today has been there has been a lot of hate <clears throat> and a lot of love, a lot of division and a lot of uh, solidarity, a lot of fear and a lot of courage, a lot of accusations and a lot of accommodations. This day has been a lot of things for a lot of people. We're all human beings with more in common than we often admit. It's time we come together for the greater good. We need to stop hating others based on our opinions and instead of and instead have actual conversations. It is time to stop pointing fingers. We do not need to agree on everything to treat others civilly. We each and we must we can. I'm like struggling. I'm so sorry. Um, we can and we must do better. Please love one another, care for one another, and treat one another the same way we would we would for ourselves and other our loved ones i for one will start with the man i see in the mirror i love you guys and there's nothing you can do about it there you go oh well, that one just i was like you know he's good with words i'm not so this is so <laughs> perfect it just i mean it just hits every point on how we should be treating each other and we need it more now than we ever have. I mean, we have in the last several, several, several years. Somewhere along the line, we got to the point where if you don't agree with me, then I have to hate you. And I don't understand that. My brain can't let that function. I, that doesn't, those wires mm -hmm. don't connect in my brain. Um, it used to be, let's have a conversation about it. Let's educate each other on whatever issue we're talking about. And then I'll make up my opinion and you make up your uh, opinion based on facts. And then if we don't agree, we can still be friends, right? But somewhere along the line, it got to the point, well, I feel like, and that was the end of the conversation. That wasn't the beginning of the conversation that just ended it. And we got to get back to where we can start talking to one another again. My first reaction to a lot of things that happened yesterday was anger. Like because it. one, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Right. Even people that I don't necessarily care that much for, like, I don't see, I see so far away from what they see um, mm -hmm. that it's like, oh yeah, okay. We're just not really going to be friends, um, but we can coexist. And yesterday proved there's a lot of people, some people out there that don't feel that same way. And I think it's time that we get back and that's where that came from. So yes, I, I appreciate you, uh, you doing that. I, um, I just had to, I don't know. Sometimes I just have to get my voice out there where normally I'll respond with, with gifts. <laughs> like I don't say good morning to Holly ever on our good morning treat. I just send her some sassy gift about something. Somehow it's tied into what she yeah. said about uh, sometimes it's stretch, but it has, it ties in there somewhere. But um, yesterday I just felt like I had to get that out. So yeah. Thank and you. Meg, Meg said, I enjoy right. being around people who don't agree with me. And I am actually the same exact way because there's no way you can learn mm -hmm. without having somebody else that, you know, doesn't think the same way you do with it. I feel like that's the best people to learn from. I mean, I whether or not they're right or wrong, you get a perspective, a different perspective of what other people may be feeling or thinking. And that to me is how you understand. I, I don't yeah, know. I have to love people that don't agree with me. 
because most people don't agree with me. Right. <laughs> oh, this is, wow. that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that is true. You don't have a choice. No, yeah, I don't have a choice. But no, oh, really, I, see I no love friends. everybody. <laughs> I can honestly say I don't know that there's anybody that I hate. Truly, yeah. there's people I don't want to be around. But I don't hate anyone. Yes, there's people I, that I would prefer not to be around. And I have the choice not to, mm -hmm. because if we were around, we wouldn't get along. So yep, I don't right. want to go there. Don't make me grouchy. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> don't ruin my day. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I mean, anybody that's being awesome selves know that we all have, as individuals, we have room to grow. And as a society, we have a lot of room to grow. Oh, yeah. But I yeah. also, I, I will, you cannot, let me word this correctly. You cannot convince me that we are so different as what the mainstream would have you tell us we are. I do not believe that we are as that far apart in, in our opinions and in our um, love for one another that I feel like the mainstream media has got us to where we they want us to start boxing each other. Mm -hmm. And most of us don't feel that way. You know, I mean... Go interact anywhere. Like I'll, I'll run up to Kansas City, do different things than that. All different towards types of groups of people. They have no hate towards me. I have no hate towards them, and we coexist and we get along. But that's not what it's being portrayed as. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Maria, you are right. There is yeah. no room for hate. Oops, I clicked the wrong one because yeah. there, there we go. No, there shouldn't be any room for hate. No, you know, I would hope that that hate would leave your heart as fast as it got there. Cause a lot of times, sometimes things happen to you and your first reaction is anger, right? Like, right. Oh, it's kind of that fight or flight. Like you're going to stake and fight. you got to get angry. You got, you know, the drilling starts pumping, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I would hope it would leave as fast as it entered. And then we could have that conversation and move on. So, yes. I'm Kayla, please like and subscribe.